What is going on, YouTube? Black Nappy Beard coming at you live, but not live from the I-15 southbound on my way to Las Vegas. And the liberals won't leave me alone. Isn't that what Jericho Green says? They won't leave him alone? Well, they won't leave me alone either. Yeah, basically. Anyways, they've done it again, guys. They've done it again. The dreaded racist word has come up. I was just uh, back there reading a story online. So apparently a woman, this lovely creature right here, cool haircut, cool mohawk. At least she's not wearing a weave, so I give her kudos for that. She wasn't wearing a weave. So the story goes as follows. Uh, she has a business called Black Girls Climbing. Uh, based out of the Berkeley area, you know, one of the wokest places in the country, Berkeley, California. In her story, she claims that two of her students, 10 and 7 years old, were climbing at a park somewhere in Berkeley, north of Berkeley, and a white person not sure if it was a man or a woman, I think it was a woman, walked by them and just called them the N-word. Just went out and just said, right, hey, you little N-words, there, there you go. There you go, you little, you little pickaninnies, you little bloop. So, she comes back the next day, makes a video, gets a lot of views, Twitter, Instagram, whatever place she uploaded the video on. And, she says, you know what's gonna, you know what's really gonna help combat racism in Berkeley? Because we all know Berkeley is full of racists. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start a GoFundMe. That'll teach them. That'll teach the racists. I'm gonna start a GoFundMe because I need a new van for my business. <laughs> She sets her goal at $30,000. <laughs> and she passed it. She 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 passed her goal of $30,000 because supposedly somebody called two of her students the N-word and now she has a $30,000, $40,000 van. <laughs> Isn't that great? Isn't that great? <laughs> first of all, first of all, uh, really quickly. In 2020, who goes around calling anybody the N-word? Especially children. Does, does anybody in here believe that story? Does anybody believe that actually happened? I mean, come on. And of all places, Berkeley, California, the wokest city in all of California, the most progressively left city in all of California, Berkeley. Yeah, somebody in Berkeley called a couple of black girls the N-word. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Why would you make a... I, I keep saying this over and over. Why would you make a business... If you're a private individual with a private business and your business pertains to customers paying you money for services rendered... Why would you alienate 95% of society and name your business a black girl's climbing? You know, because I, I guess, I guess, you know, black children are begging to learn how to rock climb. So stupid. Oh yeah, I love to climb rocks. Okay, yeah, sure thing. Sure thing. But what was the need? What was the need? to start a GoFundMe. What was the need? You're, you're going to combat racism by buying a van for your little race hoax, which I do not believe. And anybody out there watching, you're more than welcome to believe this story. I just don't believe in 2020 there's anybody going around unless they're retarded saying that to children 
Does anybody know anybody that's legitimately racist? I'm not talking about somebody that says like, oh, look at this black motherfucker. Or, look at this fucking dumb white motherfucker. Right? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, does anybody know anybody that's legitimately racist to the point where they won't uh, talk to, associate, do business with, or have anything to do with anybody uh, that's a different color or race? I don't know anybody. I don't know one person. I was actually thinking about that uh, last night. I don't know one racist person. I don't even think I've ever met one. And I'm talking about straight racist. Now, all my friends have said have said racist things from time to time. I've said racist things from time to time. We've all said racist things. You watch my streams, you know what I say. I say that stuff in real life, I say it on YouTube. But legitimately racist, does anybody know anything? And when you want to talk about systemic racism, like this woman was crying about on her video, if there was some kind of systematic racism, uh, I am all for, for you, you know, protesting with you and saying this is wrong. Can someone please in the comments below, can, can someone please point to a, a specific law or a policy that's enacted that uh, that is deemed racist and, and miss me with the Jim Crow don't 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 Jim don't Jim Crow me and don't redline me. I'm not. I don't want to talk about 60 years ago. I want to talk about now. I want to talk about like right now. And then you got that that Bubba Smollett clown. And then I was reading some of the comments in the other video. People are like, oh. The they said they never even seen it. How in the how in God's name are you a mediocre race car driver? The only reason why people know your name is because you're half black. If you weren't half black, nobody would give two shits and a fly fuck about you, bro, bro. And then you want to jump on this Black Lives Matter bandwagon? Maybe it'll, you'll get some endorsements. Probably make some money. You start hitting the the news uh, circuit doing interviews, Black Lives Matter, I can't breathe, all this, all this uh, nonsense, right? All this nonsense. Oh, wow, I'm already in Cedar City. Oh, that was quick. Oh, I'm almost in Las Vegas. And you're doing two weeks of this, parading your fake tears, your fake crying. Fake crying. No one's been racist to you, bro. Bubba, no one's been racist to you, bro. You get what you give at the end of the day, and all of a sudden, oh, his team, his team uh, personnel, whoever the hell, they found a a noose. Oh yeah, how, how convenient is that? And what disgusts me about that story even more as of today, what disgusts me even more is that this moron, Bubba Smollett, is doubling down. I think I just spit. Who cares? Stupid camera. Can you get straight for a minute? He's doubling down on this nonsense. He's doubling down on it. He still feels that was a noose. When you get caught up in your lie so deep, just like Juicy, you get caught up in your lie so much that you're digging yourself out. You're trying to, it's like you're in quicksand with your lies and you're still digging yourself out. You're still digging yourself out. And the other sad, disgusting thing about this story is that you, and I'm sure some of you out there do watch my channel, you disgusting leftists. Because liberals and leftists to me are, are different. Uh, liberals I can put up with, even though that they're, most of their ideologies are wrong. Totally wrong. Totally wrong. But leftists are going to be the death knell in, culturally when it, in this country. And these leftists are so disappointed that the FBI, by the way, I should start a podcast, I don't know. These leftists so wanted that hoax to be true. If this country were systemically racist, why do you clowns gotta constantly come up with this fake nonsense? Why? Why? Hey guys, should I just make this channel political already and get it over with? I don't know. Or should I just keep it a troll channel? I have no idea. Why? Why do you guys need to come up with fake 
race hoaxes so much. Why? If this country is so racist, you wouldn't need to come up with nonsense and lies, right or wrong. I'm just saying. I don't want to make this a political challenge because sometimes I just get tired of talking about it. Yeah, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm already tired of it. See, I'm already tired of the subject. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of, I'm tired of these, these fucking leftists. I'm tired of their nonsense. I'm tired of their lies. I'm tired of, of their divisive nature. Okay, you're all lying. You're all fake. You're all phony. You're all a bunch of sacks of crap as far as I'm concerned, okay? Man, I'm out. That's what Jericho says. Man, I'm out. I think that's what he says, right? 